sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. business. Well, actually the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. When the roads were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests. Here. The 
the local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. It was a small locked box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. His life depended on it. Scratches did not stop Carl. His mother would be so proud. Better than he had hoped, Carl Faubert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. It was so cold, already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. The flames won't grow without some help other materials were required. someplace warm.
More materials were needed to stir up the flames. 